Oh, nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a big one. I got him. He took it, he took it, he took it, he took it. I just got off the water on what might be one of my last trips this season. Uh, it's, it is getting colder. Uh, the, the average temperature has been 70. Um, the water's temperature is probably below 70 right now. Uh, so the fall bite should be uh, kicking in or is already in swing. Um, but you never know with, with my school and, and my job whether I can actually get out. Before I started fishing, I actually recorded some footage. Uh, and since then, I've changed my mind about what I said. Not fully, but partially. So, uh, originally I said, I think mostly, if not almost all the snakeheads uh, move and migrate after they spawn. Uh, it was probably about two months where I did not see a single snakehead where I was fishing for them. Uh, Let's see, May, the month of May, I probably saw a dozen or two snakeheads every single time I went out. And they were in this certain area. Actually, they were, they were stacked in an area, but then they were kind of scattered throughout. And after a while, or what I believed to be during the spawn, because uh, I saw a few fry being guarded, um, I didn't see them after that. So I figured you know after they spawn they protect they'll stay sharp you know really really uh tight to cover and then they skedaddle and try to find more st sustainable or better water now i still believe that you know the bigger snakeheads the ones that need better water i think they'll move on and in in general i think snakeheads like to move around a lot and they tend to swim which is one of the issues because they spread fast not only do they spawn a ton but they like to move. They like to look and search around, in my opinion, for new water. Um, but anyway, I've changed my theory a little bit. I, I do think some of them move, but what happened was I think they just found the slightly deeper water with more uh, submerged vegetation. Um, I think everyone knows snakeheads love the aquatic plants. I'll tell you what, just today, uh, looking at them as they sit in the water. They'll come shallow and they'll just lay motionless and they really do look like leaf litter or the aquatic vegetation uh, That's underwater and they'll sit there and they'll wait and ambush anything I'll tell you what man. These fish are smart They're patient. They're cautious. I probably spooked about half a dozen and they scared the crap out of me made my heart jump every single time That's my theory now my upgraded theory on, on snakeheads. Some of them do like to move, and they I do really think they'll swim up water. They'll find a little bit deeper water after the spawn that is close to aquatic cover. That's it. Check out this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please, 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 if you want me to keep doing this, push that like button, hit that subscribe button. That was cool. These these fish are so camouflaged right now, it's crazy. This one's getting a little cold. Like you look here, it's about a foot of water. You can't see anything, guys. Look how bleached out he is, he's kind of cold. All right, I'll get you back, give me a sec. It's crazy how many fish there are actually here that you can't see. You'd swear there's nothing here in this foot of water. But when you cast in, you see all the life come and swarm your little lure. Bingo, bango.
Oh buddy, you are 1000% bait. Trying to. We took it. Got him! Yes! It's a small one, but. First snakehead I've had in months, guys. He was not easy to catch. Snakehead. Correct. What do you do with it? Uh, you eat it. <laughs> yeah. It's a. Oh no! 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 Okay, don't eat that one. <laughs> it's all right. What does it taste like? Have you ever eaten it before? Yeah, they're they're good. They're real good. Well, that one's lucky. <laughs> That's the lucky one. I freaking blew that one, huh? All right. Well, now that I, now I see, I can drag a, a gill into the freaking weeds, and they'll they'll take it. At least they got to keep what he caught, right? Still had that gill in his mouth. I haven't caught a snakehead in months. And when I do, I freaking lose it. <laughs> Unbelievable. At least I got one more. That's the most important part. scare me every time they do they they move i gotta get more live bait like they they don't want this frog it seems hook on the gill is so much better. It's exposed, the gills move, they freak out, they react. These kind of are tucked in which make it really great weedless, but the hook set is not going to be on point sometimes. This 
right here, boys, is promising. I don't really know how to go about this. Striking out. Oh, there's another one. How did he see me? Stay on now. Goo! Hmm. Four and a half hours. <laughs> You're not the same one, though. There was a bigger one in there. I worked hard for that thing. I worked incredibly hard for that thing, guys.